Cut my music, cut my music. Yo. 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 Listen. Before anything else, I want to say that there will be no freestyle today. Mainly because, Marcus, you're a brave guy. You're the first guy to call me out. You're the first guy to actually want and call your shot for the $10,000. And I applaud you for that. Hey, I applaud you for that. But I've been looking for you all day, trying to shake your hand in the back, and you've been running from me. You get here late, I get it. Oh, you were caught in tra- he was caught in traffic. I get it. You, you don't want to talk to me? You don't want to talk to me back there? Talk to me here. Shake my hand. Shake your hand. In- introduce yourself. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Max. Maybe you know me. What is this about? Okay, no. Let's just have the match. But playing head games, maybe is Max Caster. Maybe he's legitimately upset. There, there are certain. Uh, this week's wrestling open talk main that. event is a ten thousand dollar challenge match scheduled for one fall with a ten minute time limit. If Marcus Mathers can last the full ten minutes with Max Castro, he will win ten thousand dollars. Now for the formal introductions. In the corner to my right, from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 160 pounds, the young prodigy, Marcus Mathers! His opponent to my left, representing the acclaimed, weighing in at 230 pounds, he is the best wrestler alive, Platinum Max Caster! There are certain universal respects shown by athletes before and after shows especially ones that don't have any animosity toward each other. As far as I know, these two haven't had any animosity leading into this match. Aside from the fact that Mathers called him out, but that's, I just think that's, that's athleticism. That's, that's, that's sports. But clearly, Max Caster took great offense that Marcus Mathers wouldn't come and say hello to him before the show. I don't know if I agree or disagree, because Sometimes when you're about to get into a fight with someone, you don't really want to say hi, but there is a greeting from Marcus Mathers onto Max Caster. Little cat and mouse here from the young prodigy. And a cocky, we know Marcus Mathers has a cocky side to him, but Max Caster is clearly taken aback by the attitude. Gonna try that cutter. He went for that cutter. Rolls him through. And there's Mathers with the forearm. Gonna try another one. Caster up and over and he lands hard. That is a big time crash landing. Mathers could take to the air. Hits the dive on Platinum Max. And the young prodigy. He is taking his chance. He is taking his opportunity. He has a spotlight shining down on him and he is not running away from it. There's a forearm by Platinum Max and that is why he is at the top of his game. That is why, wait, hold on. There's a big kick from the young prodigy. Marcus Mathers not letting the spotlight get the better of him here with $10,000 on the line, no less. Going up top. Max Caster was ready, waiting, and he struck with a drop kick 
to the midsection on Marcus Mathers. And the look on the face of Max Caster says it all to me. This is not the Max Caster we have seen over the last month or two, especially since he first came to Wrestling Open to back up his brothers in the Shook Crew. This is a different side of him. I really think he was put off by the fact that Marcus Mathers wouldn't shake his hand earlier today in the backstage area. And he's letting that get to his head for some reason. Maybe he feels like Marcus Mathers hasn't earned the chance to call him out for $10,000. Maybe he feels like Marcus Mathers didn't pay his dues. It is a time-honored tradition in so many different ways in our great sport that you have to pay your dues before you get big-time chances. And to Marcus Mathers', Mathers credit, he's got a lot of high-profile matches early in his career. And maybe from afar, Max Caster has seen that and resents him for it. Maybe he feels like Marcus Mathers hasn't earned this and he's gonna show him what being in the spotlight is all about. Because even though Marcus Mathers has had some high profile main events, Latin and Max Caster is on television every week. He goes out there and sold out arenas and does his thing. So maybe that resentment is now turning into anger, frustration, and for Marcus Mathers, maybe it's about to turn into a lot of pain. Grabbing that ankle is Max Caster, wrenching it, and if Marcus Mathers could be on one foot, that's gonna take away a lot of his offensive base. But the young prodigy going to show that fight, going to the second rope. Went to roll through again, but look at that. Taking out the knee, and Platinum Max hooking the leg. And that $10,000 is still on the line. Marcus Mathers trying to give everything that he has because he said, you know what, I'm 19, I live at home, I don't have to pay bills, but that $10,000 would sure help me out in so many ways. Because especially now, the life of a young wrestler on the road can be very expensive. So for Marcus Mathers to continue to ply his trade across the country, 10 grand would go a long way. But let's forget about the money for a second. Let's talk about the fact that Marcus Mathers could come here to Wrestling Open. He could defeat AEW superstar Platinum Max Caster. Forget about the money. The money would be nice. But if he can do that, that would catapult him. But Max Caster doesn't care about that. He wants to show Marcus Mathers how you show respect to those that came before you in our sport. As Mathers trying to get over to that rope. There's an enziguri. And there's an opening. The young prodigy needs to rev five into second gear. In this $10,000 challenge match, five minutes remain. And remember, he doesn't have to beat Max Caster. He just has the last 10 minutes. So if he can batten down the hatches for five minutes, there's the ripcord. There's a forearm. And he runs into a clothesline from the young prodigy. Mathers is starting to put it together. And to a stunner, Platinum Max is out to the floor. Could Mathers take to the sky one more time? He's gonna take to the air. Up and over, full rotation, taking down Platinum Max Caster. And he knows he needs to get him in the ring, make the pinfall. But Platinum Max still... Six minutes have elapsed in this $10,000 challenge match. Four minutes remain. You can see just how much Mathers knows he needs to capitalize here. Sits out with the power bomb. No. Marcus Mathers was that close to $10,000 and the win of his life. Heading back to the top rope. He's going up high. Tries the frog splash, but gets the knees up. Small package. Mathers out at two. Grabbing that ankle, gonna go for that figure four. 
if he can cinch this on, it could be a wrap for Marcus Mathers here in our main event of episode 23. You can hear the Worcester faithful saying, please don't give Seven it up. Seven minutes have elapsed in this $10,000 challenge match. Three minutes remain. Forget about three minutes. It could be three seconds. Mathers has to get to that bottom rope, and he does. And for Marcus Mathers at this point, the seconds must feel like minutes. With each second that passes by, it must feel like a lifetime. All he has to do is hang on. As Max Caster, that frustration, that anger, has boiled over. As Marcus Mathers in survival mode here in our main event, I feel like this is the biggest test Caster has had so far. BRG and Manders have fallen to Platinum Max. But look at that spinning back chop. Mathers wants more. He is fired up. He is motivated. Eight minutes have elapsed in this $10,000 challenge match. Two minutes remain. Two minutes to 10 grand. Mathers either needs to hit a home run or play defense here. Ducks down with the Matrix move and hits the super kick. The young prodigy has Platinum Max lined up. Can he put him away? The referee getting in between them. Oh, we went to, he just went to the eyes. Why did he do that? Hits the clothesline. There was absolutely no need for Caster to do that. I can't believe that. Mathers out at two. Mathers out at two. And he's going for that figure four leg lock again. This is a bad, bad spot for Mathers. For all of that bravado, that frustration, that Nine anger. Nine minutes have elapsed in this $10,000 challenge match. Less than one minute remains. Less than a minute. Can Mathers hold on? Can he take that briefcase home? Can he take the cash home as caster now? Mathers can't move. Mathers is stuck on the mat. He can't move. Hits the mic drop. He hits that mic drop. Hooks the leg. He got a no crucifix. 30 seconds left. Caster beat him. Caster got him. I cannot believe that. The time of the fall, nine minutes, 33 seconds. Your winner, Platinum Max Caster. And I can't believe he went to the eyes. He didn't need to do that. I don't think he needed to do that, but clearly, he felt he needed to go low. Hope Mathers in the eye and cheat. He cheated his way to keep that 10 grand. Hey, you guys are gonna let them talk to me that way? What does that mean? You're really gonna curse at me? I'm the best wrestler alive. Hey, you wanna act like that? I'm gonna act like that. I don't think there's anyone on the Indies, at Beyond, or anywhere, who really, really wants my money. So who's it gonna be? Who's next? Whoa. Whoa. Oh. oh yeah. He said, who's next? Ichiban said, I got next. Hey, back up. You want a shot at $10,000? You want to do it next week? No, wait, I got a better idea. How about this Sunday, Foxborough, please come back, you against me, for the case. Wow. Ichiban, number one. That's as close as he's gonna get to say yes. It is on this Sunday, $10,000 challenge 
It is official. Please come back. Ichiban goes for 10 grand against Platinum Max Caster.